am going to give you a tarot reading. If you uh, accept me being able to read your energy, you can stay. If this is not your thing, feel free to click off. But I just want to see what does the collective have for you? What is the message of this month for you? You know, of course, spirit gonna talk how spirit want to talk. So it could just be something you need to hear. But I'm calling my benevolent ancestors and spirit guides and deities with no trickster spirits to guide me in this reading and to give me a clear message for everyone watching. What is something we need to know right now? Okay. Hmm. There could be some blockages and blockages happening for you right now to where you feel like stuff is not moving as fast as you want it to and you are kind of burning yourself out. It's almost like you've been doing too much at one time and not really focusing on one thing. And I feel like that is what your spirit guides really need you to do is to focus on one thing that matters, get that goal finished and then move to the next. Because it's going to be really impossible for you to succeed at something if you are just starting a whole bunch of new tasks and you never really get everything finished. Like You get everything started, but you don't really get everything finished. And that's just stressing you and your ancestors out. <laughs> we have the Nine of Swords. This is talking about unnecessary fear. This is talking about being stressed out, not be being able to sleep. You may be a person that suffers from insomnia because of how much your brain is on go, right? You also have the hanged man at the bottom of the deck currently right now. And this is telling you to just work on trying to do things from a different perspective. Be open to seeing things in a new light. You know, maybe you need to step away from a situation or a person or an idea in order for you in order for you to really have that success that you want. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys have not been working on your boundaries or if you have boundaries, you have not been setting those boundaries or like keeping them. Um, when you have boundaries, you have to reinforce them. OK, we have the seven of pentacles. Yeah, that's seven. Yeah, seven of pentacles here, okay? When I see this, I think about, you know, you're almost there. You've been working on yourself. Of course, there's some things that you could do differently or you can do better. But, like, you're getting there, you know? I keep hearing you're almost there. But you have to stop focusing so much on the past. You see how in the Four of Cups, this person is just staring at the past cups and, you know, cups that weren't filled goals that didn't go through things that just didn't work out for you you're too focused on that to where you can't see when your spirit god the ancestors are trying to offer you something else and that's how you miss out on a lot of your opportunities because you focus so much on stuff that went wrong or could go wrong and it kind of stops you from really putting yourself out there like you need to okay yeah, you are already a person who's very creative, very tapped in, very psychic, and I feel like you are very emotional based. So you make decisions based on your emotions and sometimes that can get you in a little bit of trouble. But I feel like you sh you don't have to worry. You're going to be able to overcome the things that kind of get in your way because you have the chariot here. So anything that has been like trying to block you, it's not going to stay there forever. And most of it is mental and emotional. So there may be some healing that is necessary for you to start mm, doing or reflecting on. Okay, let's get a little bit more information for you. And... The deck I'm using now is called Voices of the Soul Oracle. Okay, this deck is amazing. I'm going to read directly from the book for these. Okay, we're going to look at the spirit guide message. 
just to tie in and finish up this reading what is it for the highest good that we need to know for the collective right now respect Oof. so and learning so don't be afraid to learn new things i'm not telling you to be afraid of learning new things or trying new things but pick one new thing maybe per month or per two months that you really focus on you learn the skill you understand it you move on okay and don't try to have like seven new skills that you're trying to learn or have seven new businesses that you created like pick one stick with it for a little bit understand it master it and then move on okay because you're piling too much on your plate you have to respect yourself and some of you may be having issues with getting respect from other people or you feel like people don't respect you could be a parent um who is just like out of control and i feel like because of the projections your parents may have placed on you you've lost respect for yourself and i feel that you are going on a journey of learning how to respect yourself and bouncing back to the boundaries you have to have boundaries for yourself and stick to those boundaries for yourself and then create boundaries for other people and yes you can have boundaries for your parents do not be afraid to stand up and speak on things that you do not like that your parents do or say you know if you're younger you can definitely say this in a more respectful type of way where you openly communicate hey mom hey dad caregiver guardian i don't feel comfortable when this is said to me in this kind of tone is there any way we can work on um better ways of communicating what you want me to do or you know i don't feel like you support me in this area and i would really like to have that kind of support because that's just going to reinforce the respect for you that you have for yourself and then when other people see you respect yourself they will give you that respect as well so let's get into the reading okay it's the number 26 so six seven eight you may be seeing the number eight 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 a lot or 88 okay also with the number eight it also looks like the infinity is tied to the leo so you know you could have a leo in your life that's causing you hell um for the infinity sign this is just letting you know that you are infinite that you are divine that you have more than enough tools around to create the reality that you desire now for the spirit guys message for the respect card this is saying today we invite you to connect to the present moment you may be dwelling too much in the past said it earlier okay or in your plans of the future this creates controlling energies and connects you to your mind okay just be here in the now the more you live in the present moment the more you will move forward positively in everything that matters to you today you may feel like you have no intuition or that you aren't receiving clear messages through your spiritual tools such as your oracles the bible journaling whatever you use to get clarity right there is a reason for this the point is for you to be here and now so breathe open your eyes and your beautiful heart just live in the moment you will be in this energy for the next five months okay the number five is very significant because it deals with change okay um you will receive many inner revelations for a great outer transformation so there is a huge transformation coming just be open to it okay embrace it and just take your time this is not something that it's going to happen overnight it's going to take some time to build that kind of relationship with yourself and comment down below if this resonated with you and if you like this kind of video and uh, i'll see you next time bye guys